So I've had a lot of people in the comments asking me about uh, steel fixing. Um, so I'm not a steel fixer, so if you are a steel fixer, don't rag me, don't destroy me in the comments. But just show you a few tricks for those who wanna know, owner builders or chippies who just need to do a bit of steel fixing. So um, when we're setting up a mat like this, it's just a matter of putting in your verticals. And then what I do is I just mark three bars with all the centers. Um, so I don't know if you're able to sh come a bit close to Jordan and show the marks on that bar. So all the marks are on these bars. And then we just put the bars on. And then I've got all these marks here to line my verticals up with. So the there's a few different types of tires, main tires I use. So the first one is a slash tire. So slash tie is just comes around, you grab it in the left hand side of your nips. So in America, you guys like to use pliers. In Australia, we all use nips. So grab it with the left, flick it around to the right, and then using the nips, you sort of lever against the bar to get it tight, have a twist, and then I have one more. I'm levering here off the nips, I do it go again. And a good tie, will be nice and tight and you, the part that's twisted should always be on the corner. And I try to aim for about three twists. If you've only got one twist, that will break. And just tie these off real quick. Now I just want to show, putting on one of the horizontals. So I always bend the, bend the wire before I put it through. When I'm putting on the horizontal, I'll start from one of the ends. Come over here, mate. So off, usually, so on our first side, we'll put a whole heap of lines for our horizontal bars as well. But because we got the mat behind, we can just copy. We don't need to measure. So on my first one, I like to do a saddle tie. So saddle tie wraps around, and then the bar basically sits on the wire and then it's just wrapping it around. Because I'm doing this on my own, I usually, I'll get that nearly crossed over or get it crossed over. So the great thing about saddle tire is now when I go to the other side to lift it up, that won't drop. I'll just tie one in the middle. I'm just gonna use a slash tie. That's it. Something's not right there. And then when you tie the rest of the mat, you wanna go usually hit and miss. So tie one, miss one, tie one, miss one, called hit and miss. With off-form walls, 
So let's show them over here. So usually on steel fixing walls, you'd put nails into the ply and tie your Rio to it with a chair. And then what that holds the Rio nice and tight to the wall. So we maintain consistent cover. You can't have these bars hitting the formwork and showing up on the concrete. Um, so normally you'll do that, but the problem with off form walls is the nail sticks through the ply. Even though I've only got that coming through 10, 20 mil, that's going to be seen. So we're going to take these ones out and what we do with off form walls is we tie through the bolt holes like that. Um, so on the back, I have to just lift it above. On the back, we just put a nail and tie wire to the nail. And then using that, we're able to keep the mesh nice and tight to the formwork. And what we'll do is before the pour, we cut these wires from the back. And because this steel will all be done and all the chairs are tight, we cut that wire and then nothing will be seen on the outside of the concrete and look nice. Worst case, we'll just have some wires hanging out the bolt holes and the bolt holes get patched anyway. Um, so I don't know what else I can show. It's pretty basic. This has to have some spaces put in so it'll be nice and straight. I might put them in next. I'll put my, my other bar that I've marked, I'll now put that at the very top so that keeps all my bars nice and straight. That's it. Doesn't really get much more complicated than that. I don't really want to do any more steel, so hopefully that's the last one I ever show you. <laughs> yeah.